Hotbox. Uh, we are a DC and San Francisco based company in the geospace. Um, I'd like to talk about how we at Mapbox uh, leverage open source and open data uh, to build a business. Um, open source is winning. Uh, this is a map that we launched recently. Um, it's a, we call it Mapbox Outdoors. It's a map that is uh, specifically designed for outdoors activities like hiking, walking, running, cycling. That's a map that we've all built uh, with open source tools on open data. Um, as you look at this map closer, you'll see, I know this is a little bit harder to see here, you see like an incredible detail here on this map layers with contour lines down to like the highest zoom levels, labeled contour lines uh, that we've sourced from uh, a variety of, uh, of open data sources like OpenStreetMap, but also like a variety of uh, government data sources, especially when it comes to, terrain, to the terrain data that we're using. Uh, you see here details like ski lifts that people uh, use in uh, ski applications uh, and the map is, uh, as all of our maps, uh, global down to the highest zoom levels. Uh, this is really the type, of, um, the type of data and the type of technology that allows us to go up against some of our biggest competitors. And it makes us actually look incredibly good in comparison to them. As you can see at these type of side comparisons, this would be Sarajevo here. This would be like uh, Hawaii here, uh, looking uh, at Apple and Mapbox maps. So, we're, we're uh, a company built entirely on, on open source. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as, uh, as a Lego company, as a company that builds, the, uh, that builds, that creates those building blocks that developers and designers can use to assemble their own maps map and map-based applications. Um, but I also said we are, we're entirely open source. So, so how do we do this? How does this work? Like really what it comes down to for us at Mapbox and the way we work as a business is that we put open source software out there for folks to use free of charge, um, build communities around it, uh, but we also provide services in that space that uh, do some of the hard things like serving maps. So some of our clients would be Foursquare who's using like a Mapbox uh, powered OpenStreetMap based map of the world for showing check-in locations. Uh, you know, like here the ski station, what we call the ski station, uh, on DuPont Circle, uh, I might check in from like this weekend, or uh, the Financial Times here using like our satellite uh, base layers uh, based on NASA and digital globe data uh, for showing where uh, Iran or Iran's hiding the nukes. Right. Um, this would be here an example of uh, how how our geocoding services power Evernote's data or Evernote's application. Or here's a quick example of. Um, of how Scoot, like uh, uh, the, the, the San Francisco-based um, car-to-go type service for scooters is using our Directions API. Uh, this is all, again, geared towards developers and designers. You can you go to mapbox.com slash developers, and really what you see there is a lot of really good documentation that gets you started fast on using, using our tools. So we're really very geared directly towards, uh, towards uh, this type of audience. And this, is, um, and this is also why we're looking at like our documentation as um, as, as, type, as a type of a product. So back to my starting point, um, how are you using uh, at Mapbox like open source and open data uh, for, for building a business? There's a couple of themes and a couple of aspects that are recurring for us that I'd like to quickly highlight. We use open source as Mapbox very specifically to level the playing field. We're using like specifically OpenStreetMap uh, for sourcing like global base data that is usually very expensive. Some of our competitors send the cars around the world and drive like five million uh, and have driven so far, you know, five million more kilometers or miles to actually capture the same type of data, the same so it's a similar quality of data that we have uh, here through a project like OpenStreetMap. The, uh, Wikipedia of maps uh, in, in, in collected in a much more efficient manner. Over 20,000 people like log into OpenStreetMap every month and update the map. What you're seeing here is a quick recording of what is actually a live data, uh, a live dashboard showing OpenStreetMap editors uh, updating the map as we speak. As Mapbox, we make like very specific investments in that space and actually put a lot of resources towards that. Like as you can see, for instance, in like this uh, quick uh, uh, animated GIF from like uh, the OpenStreetMap web editor that we have funded and built uh, as, as a team together with the OpenStreetMap community, here would be another example of how we uh, are opening like uh, uh, a digital globe imagery to the OpenStreetMap community specifically for tracing. Another recurring theme for us is like winning the thought space. Uh, a good example for that would be like our Tilemill open source map design studio that is, again, 
free of charge, downloaded download, download from mapbox.com, and you can start uh, designing maps like this one here that uh, Pinterest uh, did with the Stamen team for uh, their base maps for, uh, for pins, for pin boards. Uh, and really, like, this is about uh, changing the space and how, and how like, map design works and how people interact with map design. Um, and that is also connected to details like uh, the, um, the, the, uh, the exchange formats that we provide, that we develop for, um, for uh, actually exchanging like styles and map data uh, between organizations. Uh, for, and that would be, for instance, uh, that would be like MB tiles that is um, sort of establishing, establishing it itself as like sort of the go-to like tile exchange format now. Uh, and again, this is because it is out there as an open format, but it's also because we have open source software around it that supports that format and that is very quickly adopted, much quicker as if, uh, much quicker than if uh, uh, this type of software was proprietary software that, is, that we sold for a license. Uh, next up, collaboration. That's one of sort of like a no-brainer sort of aspect of open source. Really, as an example, I want to offer here a real quick Leaflet.js that we work with. Uh, this is a JavaScript library that uh, powers a lot of the zooming, like the zoomable and panable uh, maps out there. Uh, Leaflet is a project that we have actually taken over from uh, like an open source space, so that we have that we have sort of adopted uh, by hiring like uh, the, the the key contributor of of, of Leaflet, uh, Vladimir. And uh, but really, like uh, an aspect that I want to highlight here is how Leaflet is actually like a community of uh, of, of contributors. Uh, in this case here, I showed you before, like uh, this uh, little snippet of uh, of of. Uh, um, of like Evernote's application, and you can see here how like the markers uh, cluster nicely, and that's a plugin called Marker Cluster plugin that Mapbox hasn't built. It was built by this company called uh, SmartTrack, and they did this for uh, did this for uh, better representing like all the assets that they are tracking on maps. Uh, we didn't need like you know a governing body or a coordination body for uh, for creating like this type of uh, open source collaboration. It sort of happened by people scratching their own itch, and this is something. This is very, very powerful, as this is like collaboration out there in the open without the need for any NDAs or larger business agreements. Uh, lastly, uh, we are very clear and level-headed about like uh, you know open where it make, makes sense. Uh, like here's a quick example of like how we're combining like uh, uh, open data and, and proprietary data here as a uh, as a as a demo that we've built to, together with. Uh, uh, the microsatellite company Skybox, and you can see here on this uh, quick animated GIF how we show uh, Skybox video from space together with open uh, open street map data as an overlay for contextualizing where I'm actually looking at. I'm looking here at the, in the specific case at uh, an airport in China, and I'm seeing like a couple of planes taking off here, and I'm seeing traffic in that area. Uh, we're looking similarly at uh, the software that we're building up for like hosting our maps. So like uh, all the glue code that we create for like cobbling like these open source uh, uh, components together that make up like our online map service, make up our online map services. This is proprietary code that we uh, that we deploy on, on our on our web platforms. So this is really where I want to leave it off with you. Um, I just wanted to quickly offer this as uh, sort of a uh, conversation started here and I'm looking forward to, to questions later.